Mr. President, we are rapidly approaching a moment of truth, both for ourselves as human beings and for the life of our nation. Now, truth is not always a pleasant thing, but it is necessary now to make a choice, to choose between two admittedly regrettable, but nevertheless distinguishable post-war environments. One, where you got 20 million people killed, and the other, where you got 150 million people killed. You're talking about mass murder, General, not war. Mr. President, I'm not saying we wouldn't get our hair mussed, but I do say no more than 10 to 20 million killed, tops, uh, depending on the breaks. I will not go down in history as the greatest mass murderer since Adolf Hitler. Perhaps it might be better, Mr. President, if you were more concerned with the American people than with your image in the history books. General Turgeson, I think I've heard quite sufficient from you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, they have the ambassador waiting upstairs. Oh, good. Any difficulties? They say he's having a fit about that squad of MPs. Yeah, that's, well, that can't be helped. Have him brought down here straight away. Yes, sir. Is, it, is that the Russian ambassador you're talking about? Yes, it is, General. Uh, am I to understand the Russian ambassador is to be admitted entrance to the, the war room? That is correct. He is here on my orders. I, I don't know exactly how to put this, sir, but are you aware of what a serious breach of security that would be? I mean, you'll see everything. You'll, you'll see the big board. Okay, let's talk about this charger board. These little chips are TP4056s, about 45 cents each from eBay. This one has eight of them. It's powered by this 10 amp charger, five volts, takes the five volts, turns it into 4.2 and sends it into each one of these cells. If you'll notice, these cells are either doubled or tripled because I haven't found any reason to take them apart into individual cells. Down below this is a 20 cell unit that is powered by this power supply which supplies 20 amps. Each one of these little modules takes one amp each so it does handle the 20 amps. Down below that is another 20 amp. 20 cells powered by an ATX power supply from a desktop computer. This power supply has a fan for cooling but it also has ventilation holes behind it. So I had to buy 632 studs actually and drill out the screw holes that were there and use a 632 tap and then use those nuts to stand it off 
from the back of the board so it could get some ventilation through there. And that has been running nice and cool. All of the yellow wires, which are 12 volt wires, are bundled together. Got a little light there just to show when it's on. The green and the black wire are separated out and go to that switch. That's actually what turns on the power supply. So it's just a normal light switch with the green and the black wire connected. The black wire is the ground wire. They are all bundled together. The red wires are the 5 volt wires. They are all bundled together. And then they're brought up and brought into a number 12 wire. The wires are then wired to the chips there, the TP4056 chips. And if you'll notice, the black wires are the short wires, the red wires are the longer wires. And then as you go around the loop and come down here, then the red wires are shorter and the black wires are longer in order to make the loop. And that just ends at the end of the C right there. This one, I made a full circle out of it. And again, if you notice the small wires here, the reds on top are the smalls, the blacks are the longer ones. And then as you make the circle, and it kind of reverses, and you've got the long red wires and the short black wires. Although this is rated for 10 amps, it ran very hot when I tried to run 10 cells off of that, 10, di 10 different little chips. So I cut it back to eight, and while it still runs warm, it doesn't run hot like it used to. So if you notice, I've got doubles, and I've got some that are triples. Here's a triple. So if you count this up, there's 48 cell holders here. You double that, that's 96. Count the triples, 97, 98, 99, 100. So there are 100 cells at a time that I am charging with this setup. I ran the electrical plugs in. I'm actually feeding that off a very heavy extension cord because I have two circuit breakers here in the pole barn. One circuit breaker feeds all of these chargers. The other circuit breaker feeds the wall behind me. So that way I have plenty of amperage capacity to do all the things I need to do as far as charging and discharging these cells. So this is the charging portion of the big board. Once you have either initially charged it or on the recharge after you've discharged it, in order to get a flat top cell into the chargers that have the spring, you need to put this little super magnet on the top to give it enough height to go into the charger. Push it down with the spring, and then once you push it up, if you have to, and then it turns red for charging. Otherwise, it would just stay green. Okay, this is a story of how somehow you can luck out sometimes. I came up with the idea of using these bulbs instead of resistors in order to try to get a load, try to get a one amp load on the 18650 cells and they just didn't draw enough amperage such that I'd have to use eight of these things in order to draw one amp. Well, that just wasn't going to work. So, and this was a three volt. So, not really knowing 
just knowing that I had to do something to get a higher amp load. I took a risk. I went out and bought these bulbs, 12 volt. made in China. And by using two different lamp holders and wiring them in parallel plus the 3 volt bulb, got those hooked to the watt meter. And this watt meter is very cool. For no more than it costs it does quite a bit. But if you look at it you saw it has like bouncing around a little bit but right around one amp, almost exactly one amp. So exactly what I want to discharge that cell at and find out what the capacity of this particular cell would be. So this is going to work. I'm going to wind up hooking up the rest of my dischargers that I have as lamps using this setup. And again, this is a Doris. These things weren't cheap. And that's a candelabra base. And so you have to order a candelabra to a standard, which I think is an A15 base, in order to get it to fit into a uh, normal lamp holder there. But the combination of that is going to work out well. What's also nice is this thing will tell me how many amp hours, let it go around until it says amp hours down in the lower, right there, 0.126 amp hours so far. So this is actually a discharge meter is going to tell me exactly how many amp hours that cell has, which is going to be perfect when it's all done. This little watt meter does a lot. I'm very happy with that. The only thing that I had a question about, and I could not find it anywhere on the internet, under 4 volts, you have to have an outside power source in order to power this thing. There are three little pins in there. The pin closest to my thumb isn't used. The black is the furthest out and the red is the next one in. The pin that is closest to my thumb isn't used, and you've got to use a JX connector. You've got to take that little plate off, put the connector on, put the plate back on. That'll hold that in place. And then you can go ahead and add any type of voltage source, in my case, a 9-volt battery. It tends to go through a 9-volt battery pretty fast, so you could use a uh, some kind of a wall plug to 9 volts, you know, 110 volt to 9 volt DC output and use that instead and then you wouldn't have to worry about buying these type batteries. But anyway, we'll come back to this when I get all of these installed and this is going to work out great. I'm really happy with this one. Here is the dischargers. These are 4 ohm resistors, these two, with a voltmeter attached to each resistor, each battery. And these are 2 ohm resistors with the pairs. So they're each drawing 1 amp. This would be drawing 2 amps, but there are 2 cells. That would be drawing one amp with one cell. These are, again, the pairs. So they're drawing two amps, but they have two cells. So it makes it pretty easy. You just have to kind of watch them. And when they drop down to three volts, however long that took, that's how many amp hours each cell has or each pair of cells has. And these are the light bulb dischargers with a Doris bulb and then the 15 watt bulb tied in parallel. That pulls exactly one amp. 
So there is one cell in each one of these cell holders. So again, they will function the same. All of these voltmeters I got for free from Harbor Freight just by buying something. And there's a lot of somethings to buy when you do one of these projects. Also, there's Jehu Garcia's charger of 16 each. And charging all those up right now. And right now it's pulling 2 amps. But it'll drop down to less than 1. Sometimes 0. And then it'll beep and tell you that it's done charging. So, this is just kind of a how we're doing it.